All right, what's going on guys? We have a bit of a serious video for today. Another wrongful strike video. I don't really particularly enjoy making videos like this. I don't want to make videos like this, but unfortunately the YouTube copyright system is just so easily abused. Anyone can do it. I know they've taken steps to make it better and they're continuing to do so, but it's still not in the best shape right now. It allows people to wrongfully strike videos. And the major problem with it is there's really no consequences for doing so. It's actually illegal to file a false copyright claim, but everyone does it anyways because honestly, nothing's going to happen to them. They're, they're never going to get prosecuted for it. If we just think about it for two seconds here, National Geographic is pretty much, I think, a billion dollar company. What the fuck can I do to them? I can't do anything to them. You know what I mean? All I can do is make this video and show how they abuse the YouTube copyright system and how that's not right. Get the word out there, really. That, that, that's all I can really do i will be filing a counter notification obviously but there's nothing much else i can do here that being said i did tag their twitter in the title of the video i don't know how much that'll help but everyone who likes this video it will automatically notify them on twitter i'd like someone over there to see it i don't know i just i'm not sure whether to be like super mad at them because they purposely did it and they knew what they were doing or maybe they just don't understand how fair use works i don't know because if it was an accident and they just don't understand how how fair use works or whatever on YouTube. I guess I can forgive them, right? It's not that big of a deal, but if they purposely did this, that's when I have a problem, right? So hopefully I can get some sort of communication from them on what exactly went down here. But thankfully, YouTube separates copyright strikes from any other type of strikes you get on your channel, or else this channel would have got shut down this morning. So as I've been saying for like the last few weeks, I've been promoting my second channel a lot, and that's just in case something ridiculous happens like this, and you know, I don't, I don't have any control here I, I can't really do anything until after the strike happens and at that point it's too late so second channel is in the description I would encourage everyone to subscribe over there just in case something crazy happens because it seems to be happening to me a lot recently you know with all sorts of stuff I've been having to deal with so just everyone if you could subscribe to the second channel just in case something happens here I would greatly appreciate it I do upload videos there as well so it's not like it's just a dead channel or something but anyways as you can see crazy shit has been happening so let me just go ahead and try to explain what's going on here most of you guys have probably seen the original video it was the inside the mind of a feminist national geographic special video it had around 250k views in less than a month so i'm thinking that a lot of you guys probably saw it or you saw the original one about eugene which also had like 200k views i did make that video private now so they can't strike that one and just until i get this figured out i didn't want them to strike that one and then i think i'd get another two week suspension from uploading if that did happen so i'll I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and make that private for they falsely do that one as well. But I'm assuming you've either seen one, if not both of these videos. I do still have the full video on my computer if I need it for evidence or something. But those of you that saw it can confirm everything that I'm about to talk about. But let me just go ahead and give you the breakdown here. So it was a 10 minute video and it was basically a parody of a National Geographic documentary and it was supposed to be on feminists. And the reason that National Geographic striked the video was because in the beginning of the video for about 10 seconds out of a 10 minute video I might add because that's actually important I use their official intro to make the parody seem more realistic right so literally a minuscule tiny fucking part of their copyright right now the rule for fair use is 10% this is literally less than 1% okay so it clearly falls in the correct percentage now I will say I did have the National Geographic logo on the top left corner of the video for about like 70% of the video or so but I'm pretty sure that's different because that's not really like stealing their copyrighted work for example i could put the activision logo in the top left corner of my call of duty gameplay videos that doesn't mean activision is going to claim that video right that's basically saying that anytime you use a logo of a company in your video that they can strike your video they immediately own your video like that doesn't really make any sense so i'm pretty sure the only reason they were able to strike the video successfully was because i used the intro if you watch the video you know everything else did not come from them that was all my own work that i I got none of the rest of the video came from National Geographic so it was just that one tiny part of the video now let me go ahead and just discuss how this is a false copyright strike how they abuse the YouTube system and you know how this falls within fair use and all that sort of stuff so right here on the screen you can see exactly what 
I see when I look at the strike. It just it shows me this page right here. So a couple things to point out here. You see at the bottom it says manually detected. Now there's a difference between like an auto detection, like a robot just scans YouTube and it claims your video. That I can understand, okay? You know, maybe they accidentally claimed it. This is manual. That means a person that works for National Geographic watched the video and literally filed a copyright strike. So this was on purpose. This was no accident. Now, I don't know whether he realized that he was abusing the system or he just saw that I used like their intro and he's like, whoa, I don't like that or whatever, which I'm allowed to do. Maybe, you know, he just didn't realize that. And then the next thing to notice is they actually took the video down. Now here on the screen, you can see another copyright notice that I got from Activision and you can notice the difference in the two videos, right? Activision allowed me to keep the video up because I showed about 30 seconds of infinite warfare gameplay that was actually a false strike as well i just didn't care enough to fight it i was like whatever i don't care i, I didn't want to deal with it but national geographic actually chose to take the video down you have a choice you can either leave it up and claim all the money so all the all the money i'm getting from that activision video going straight to them you know they're basically stealing from me this one they just completely removed the video and assigned a strike they could have left the video up and just taken all of the profit from the video so that's another reason why i'm upset because i wouldn't be nearly as upset if they didn't give me a strike they just claimed the video I still would have fought it because they have no right to claim this video but it wouldn't be as big of a deal if they didn't give me a strike now let me go ahead and just explain to you real quick how fair use works so in this paragraph right here it says in the most general sense a fair use is any copying of copyrighted material done for a limited and transformative purpose such as to comment upon criticize or parody keyword a copyrighted work such uses can be done without permission from the copyright owner. In other words, fair use is a defense against a claim of copyright infringement. If your use qualifies as fair use, then it would not be considered an illegal infringement. So me making a National Geographic parody certainly falls under fair use, right? And I definitely made it transformative because it is nothing like any National Geographic documentary they have made. It is not copying them at all. It's about feminists. And it's certainly limited because I literally only used 10 seconds of an intro. I didn't copy, I didn't copy 50 percent of a elephant documentary that they made or whatever and edit it or whatever and make it look like my own I literally made my own separate documentary also if we look deeper at the parody explanation it says here a parody is a work that ridicules another usually well-known work which National Geographic is well known by imitating it in a comic way which the video was certainly funny judges understand that by its nature parody demands some taking from the original work being parodied unlike other forms of fair use, a fairly extensive use of the original work is permitted in a parody in order to conjure up the original. Now this actually helps me so much more because the difference between a parody fair use and a criticism fair use is they even said in parody you can actually use a lot more of the original work. They clearly state a fairly extensive use. Now I didn't have an extensive use at all. I barely used any of their copyrighted material. It would still fall under fair use under the parody guidelines so that's why it even helps my case even more if they were considering me just putting the National Geographic logo in the top left corner if they were somehow considering that as copyright infringement the way parody is defined under fair use is you're allowed to actually use an extensive portion of their copyrighted material so so me putting the logo in about 70% of the video even though the other 90% of the screen has nothing to do with them that would also fall under fair use under the parody guidelines so so basically, long story short, this video was 100% under fair use. It was falsely copyrighted by National Geographic by an employee. It was a manual claim, which is what really annoys me. And when I think about like I put over multiple weeks of work into the video and then for it to get falsely removed by by a manual claim too that that's what really annoys me i just want to know if they knew what they were doing and they did it anyways or maybe they just had no idea how youtube fair use works on youtube it, it's kind of a newer form of media it's not really mainstream like they're used to or whatever maybe they don't know i don't know i'll give them the benefit of the doubt because i really hope they aren't out here actually filing false copyright strikes on purpose because that would be pretty messed up right so anyways i am gonna fight this strike i am gonna submit a 
a counterclaim and you know do all that sort of stuff figure out how all that works i don't know how long it takes i don't know if it's even gonna work who knows we might lose the video forever that would really annoy me and then we're also gonna lose the other video because i can't make that public anymore and i can't make any more in the future if this doesn't work so i don't know it's just it's really bad situation it's really annoying but i'm gonna submit a counterclaim i'm gonna see how it goes and i will keep you guys updated on the situation please subscribe to my second channel if you are not already like i could wake up tomorrow i'll get another strike i don't know man this shit's just crazy at the moment so just uh thank you guys for all your support thank you for watching the video be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed if you do it will notify national geographic on twitter and that would be cool hopefully i can get some sort of response hopefully someone over there will watch this video and can give me an answer if anyone from national geographic does watch this video you can email me or hit me up on twitter or something and just let me know what's going on man because I, I don't really know so that's it for the video thank you guys all for watching be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you are not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out